Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Chrissy and I am the owner of Sugar and Spice Glitter Co. Before we get started with the full introduction of today's video, I had to stop and pause because I really need to take the time to thank you guys for subscribing to my channel during the filming of this introduction for today's tutorial i hit a really big goal here on this channel 25,000 subscribers which has been a really really big goal for myself here on this channel i'm just so excited and kind of like at a loss for words and disbelief that um we finally hit 25,000. It's been a long road, a long journey since I first started my small business journey. And just last year, really, really put more focus and attention into this YouTube channel. So thank you guys so, so much from the bottom of my heart for being subscribed to my channel, for liking my tutorials, for following me on social media and just being so supportive and so loving. Um, you guys are truly amazing. With that being said, I wanted to share with you guys the cup that I'm going to be showing you how to make in today's video. So this is the cup that I put together for today's tutorial. I love it. So excited to show you guys how easy it can be to create an ombre tumbler like this one using just one color. Yes, one glitter color created this dual ombre effect and I'm just so happy with how this turned out. I've been loving making these neon, really bright, fun, summery cups. Um, and I know my last tutorial just last week was also a neon ombre leopard tumbler, but this is actually a totally different technique. So if you missed out on my last video last Friday, I showed you guys how to ombre a cup using two separate colors. Okay, but today I'm gonna show you guys how to do an ombre cup using one glitter color and still getting that two color effect. So if you are really excited about learning how to do that and how I created this cup, then keep on watching. To get started, I'm prepping my 20 ounce skinny tumbler from Craft Haven by sanding it down using a medium grit sandpaper. After I've done a good sanding, I'm going to wipe down my cup using 91% alcohol and a clean paper towel. Once my cup is fully dry, I will take it outside to spray paint. This part is really important to get right because this is going to be the base of your ombre. My original intention was to use white and black spray paint, but I ran out of white, so instead I'm using a really pretty light pink spray paint on top and a flat black spray paint on the bottom. Angling the cup away from yourself really helps with blending and creating that ombre effect. I like to go back and forth between both of the colors to make sure I'm happy with how it looks. Remember that your glitter will mimic what your base looks like. So make sure that you're happy with the base because that is what the glitter is going to show through when we apply it on top of the spray paint. I'm using today is called voltage pink it is a really pretty fluorescent and iridescent glitter you want to make sure that the glitters you're using for this type of technique are translucent or opal those are the types of glitter that is really going to allow the base of your cup to show through so keep that in mind when you are working on this type of technique so I'm using about two mLs of Fast Set Resin by Counterculture DIY. I'm going to spread that all over the base of my cup. And then I'm just gonna go all the way in with Voltage Pink and sprinkle her over the entire base of the cup. 
you want to make sure that you are really getting all of the coverage so you can just go in with all of your glitter make sure that you're covering the entire base of your cup there's no streakiness there's no bald spots so just really go in with your glitter make sure that you're getting enough coverage all over the entire base of your cup remember this is a translucent glitter so the base is going to show through and you're going to see the different colors between the top portion of the cup versus the bottom portion of my cup which is black now that i've sprinkled that glitter all over the cup you can see that the top portion is still a really pretty hot pink but the bottom portion looks like a really gorgeous purple color. Once the resin is fully cured, I'm gonna go in and put another layer of fast set resin on top of that glitter that we laid down. So I'm mixing up about 30 ml of fast set resin, again by Counterculture DIY, and I'm gonna just spread that evenly all over the entire base of the cup. Here's where you can see what the cup looks like right after I've applied that first coat of fast set resin. I'm going to go ahead and let this cure for about four to six hours and then go in with a light sand so that we can apply our vinyl design. I'm going in with a medium grit sanding block lightly over the entire base of the cup now this cup really didn't need much sanding but i wanted to make sure that the entire surface is as smooth as possible because i'm going to be covering the whole entire cup with a leopard spot design once i went in with the medium grit sanding block i'm following that up with a fine grit sandpaper and i'm wetting it to do a wet sand the wet sand allows the finish to be really, really smooth, and I just love um, how it finishes off the cup when I do a wet sand using a fine sanding grit paper. Once I'm done sanding, I'm going to just rinse off some of that excess powder, wash it off with soap and water, spritz it with 91% alcohol, and let that fully dry. Once it's fully dry, we can go ahead and apply our leopard spots. This design is a leopard spot with the offset that I purchased on Etsy from Bear Trends Designs. I'll have her shop linked in the description down below. So I cut out the leopard spots on the all black adhesive vinyl and then I did the offset in our opal essence um, adhesive vinyl. The adhesive vinyl that I'm using in this tutorial is actually a sugar and spice brand. It is currently out of stock, but if you guys love how this looks like I do, then let me know and I may be getting some more rolls in the shop. So basically what I decided to do was to just hand place all of the spots on my own. Because I am doing an offset with these spots, I didn't want to lose um, the offsets with the leopard spot that I was putting on the cup. So first I laid down the leopard spot in black and then I went ahead and applied the offset outline. On top of that and so I was doing that one by one that's how I decided to do it I felt it would be the easiest way to keep track of the outlines that go with each of the spots um, however if you feel like there's an easier way to do this then you can definitely do it an easier way so you guys know that I love to share with you all the full process. Um, so I am going to just let this part roll through so you can see how I applied these spots all over the cup. I did have to cut out bits and pieces and speed it up a bit for you guys. Um, I wasn't able to show you the full thing, but we're going to let it ride a little bit. Enjoy the music and enjoy the process. Um, and yeah, I'll be back when I'm done applying the spots.
So now I'm done with all of the spots and you can see that there were some areas where I decided to put like a full opal spot. I just thought it would look super cute to add a full opal spot without any out offset or outline or anything like that. So I thought it was a cute addition. Um, but yeah, after I was done applying all of the vinyl designs, I went in with a really good spray of 91% alcohol just to get rid of any oils or anything that may be on the cup. Um, if you're dealing with any fish eyes or anything like that, chances are it could be due to like oils and stuff that get on your vinyl design. So keep that in mind. Um, now I'm going over with a, another coat of facet resin from CC DIY, torched all of the bubbles, and we're going to go ahead and let that cure and then apply our final coat of artist resin by CC DIY. Once your resin is fully cured, it's done. It's good to go. Look at that cup. The easiest ombre ever using one glitter color guys i'm just so in love with how this cup turned out and i hope that you guys love it just as much as i do if you enjoyed today's video please give it a big thumbs up if you're not subscribed to my channel please go ahead and do so now as always thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next video